All right, all right, all right. It's the Live Drive Jive Monday morning edition on this, what is it, the 6th? Yes, indeed. It is the 6th. Why is that hard to say? 6th of December 2021. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you may be, whenever you may be. We are broadcasting to you from the central kingdom of the celestial dragon, Twilight Zone, Old Peking. I hope you are doing well today. Last night out in dreamland, I had a very unusual dream. I'll not share it with you, but I woke up more perplexed than anything. It wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't a prophetic dream. It was just an interesting dream where I spent time, quite a bit of time it felt like, closely examining a specific natural phenomenon. And so I wrote it down in the dream journal and I will categorize it under WTF. It is the second day of the 11th moon, lunar month. We got two more lunar months. Well, we got this lunar month and then the next one, I believe, until the Chinese New Year. So I think there's 13 lunar months in this cycle, which there is every year, 13 months of 29 and a quarter days each, something like that. Yesterday I was watching Eric Dubay's presentation on how time is used as a tool against our soul. That the regular seven day work week is somehow meant to enslave us. And I thought, yeah, there might be some truth to that. I don't know, I've grown up with the regularity of doing the Monday through Friday grind. So it feels, feels natural to me. And when I'm not doing it, you know, when we get out of that pattern, like during the, the big lockdowns, I think it was eight months or something, just sitting at home, uh, you really have to be disciplined in keeping yourself consistent in your practice. But I was able to do that because I've, I've had a lot of good hobbies throughout my life. Kung Fu, art, journaling, that type of thing. Cooking and cleaning. So it wasn't a big deal for me. I think about my wife and she's got the Monday through Friday because you know the kids got to go to school and stuff. But she has the opportunity to chill a lot more because she doesn't. She's not working full time. She says she works full time in household management, which I don't doubt. I I do see her getting stuff done, but uh, she tends to keep late hours, and uh, I've never been one really to keep late hours. I like to get to sleep early and then get up early. Because the morning, early morning hours are the best times for cultivation. So I get up, do my magical practice, have a cup of coffee, and review review my studies. So I like that pattern better myself. How about you guys out in Happy Land? Are you a night owl, or do you like to get up early? Are you taking part in the 100 day magical challenge? Make yourself an Aladdin's lamp wish list. I was working on mine yesterday. Good stuff, three items you wanna manifest over the next 100 days. Join me in that endeavor. A 100 days of prayer and invocation, meditation, and magic. 
Let's get some yo's out and happy life. Come on, yo. Put the yo's down in the down in the Twitter box, the twatter, the, the comments, and stay well. Y'all good looking sexy people out in happy land. Wow, there's my coffee bumping around. The old bump and grind. I, I am running a little late this morning on the live drive jive, but we'll get it out there. And I will see you in the abodes of the future. As above. <laughs>